Jerry of the circus. For Jerry of the Circus. Quiet, Jerry. I'm sorry. Can you see anything, Jason? Not yet. You sure you saw those shadows around the horse tent? Sure I did. All right. Cut across this open space and get behind that tent. There where they keep the zebras. Careful, or they might get excited and start moving about. There, see? A flap through the horse tent. Move them. Yeah, I saw it too. There it goes. Look how high up it's opening. Jason, it's a snake. See that thing? Shh, don't be silly. Well, it, it does look like... Oh, Jerry, look. Jason, oh, no, it, it can't be. Don't scare him. But, but Jason, is he the robber? I don't really think he had much to do with stealing the payroll, but I'm pretty sure he's the alfalfa thief white he's been crying about. An elephant. Look, he, he's coming out. There he goes. Pretty smart, eh? And look at the huge bundle of alfalfa in his trunk. Look how carefully he pulls that leg along. The one with the chain on it. See, he doesn't even make a noise. And he's heading right for his own tent, too. Yep. Notice anything funny about it? I think the whole thing's funny. No, I mean something special. I don't know what. Maybe you haven't been around here long enough to know this, but usually when some of the elephants have been away and they come back... Yeah, they all call to each other and make funny trumpeting noises. Yeah, I know. Exactly. And now you don't hear a sound. Maybe they're asleep, huh? No, I doubt it. They know he's doing something he shouldn't, and none of them will do anything to give him away. Can't we talk out loud now? Oh, sure, I forgot. You know, Jason, I, I never heard of such a thing. What? Like that whole herd of elephants keeping quiet so that one of them can get away with something he shouldn't. Well, they sure are cagey, aren't they, Jerry? Well, I suppose we'll have to run around and tell Olsen. Who's Olsen? He's the head elephant man. Oh. And will he be annoyed when he finds that elephant has been getting out nights? <laughs> it seems to me he'd know it being around him all day. Wouldn't he notice that one elephant's chain was loose? Probably not. Those babies are marvelous. They put the chains right back where they belong and stand quietly all day in their exact spot, just as if they were tied. But when they take them into the ring or out to help move the show, wouldn't the guard notice it? It sounds like a fairy story, I admit, Jerry. But some of the elephants are so tricky, they put the chain back around the stake so it looks right. He wouldn't hold them, though. No, but the guard who's taking them out won't notice it unless he's pretty alert and up in his job. Gee, I, I never knew elephants could be so thrilling. You haven't heard anything yet. Wait till you get Olsen started. Oh, here we are. He bunks in here. Wait a second, I'll call him. Olsen? Hey, Olsen. It's Jason. Come out here a second. Oh, hey, what you doing? Quiet, Rags. Eh? What's the matter? What's the matter, huh? Jerry. Yeah? I want you to know our elephant man. Olsen, this is the boy whose detective work has uncovered one of the circus's major mysteries. Well, I'm sure glad to meet you, son. Thanks, me too. Oh, this is my partner, Rags. Well, <laughs> Hello there, pup. <laughs> you look more like a mascot than a partner. I, I guess he's my mascot, too. <laughs> Any more to your family? No, Rags is all the family I got. Pretty large order for such a tiny animal. He's not so little. <laughs> Olsen's used to big animals, Jerry. After all, Rags isn't very impressive in size when, you, when you're used to an elephant. <laughs> uh, um, I'm not trying to change the subject, but uh, what's all this I hear about my elephants? After all, I'm not getting up in the middle of the night just to meet some nice new people. <laughs> you're certainly not. 
Nor am I going to stay up the rest of the night to play nurse to your playful elephant. Well, what happened, Jason? What's it all about? I guess Whitey didn't tell you because he didn't figure you'd have anything to do with it. But there's been several bales of alfalfa disappearing from the horse tent in the past week. Oh, eh? Yeah, and we just saw one of the elephants carrying a bale out of the horse tent just as pretty as you please. You did? Well, I'll have to look into this. I didn't know I had any thieves among my herd. I'll go over and check up on it right away. Can I go with you, Mr. Olson? Well, it's pretty late, son. You mean early. Look, it's beginning to get light over there in the east now. Yeah, so it is. Aw, oh, gee, we can't go to bed now. After finding that elephant and everything, we're too excited, aren't we, Ray? <laughs> You're both night hawks. But I was that way myself when I was a kid. Well, night, all of you. You, you mean good morning, don't you? <laughs> I'm afraid the boy's got something there, Jason. Well, uh, thanks for getting me up. Well, that's okay. Uh, Jerry and I will run along and put my charges back to bed. Well, so long. So long. Gee, thanks for letting me stay. <laughs> yeah. Now, this is the way, Jerry. Let's go in just as quietly as we can. See if there's anything wrong. Uh, will the dog bark? Not if I tell him not to. Quiet, Rags, and keep quiet. All right, now. now don't fall over one of those stakes. Now, I learned that lesson. Shh. All right, now. Uh, here we are. Well, I can't hear a sound in there, can you? No. I'll pull the flap aside and you slip in. I'll follow. Okay, here I go. Gee, it's dark. Mm. Right, son. No. I'll just turn my flashlight on. There we are. Will you look at them? Just as if they were sound asleep. <laughs> They're just like naughty children. You mean to say they knew we were here all the time? Uh, more than likely. They probably either smelled me or recognized my footsteps. But, but we didn't make a sound. Oh, listen, these are jungle animals. They hear things clearly that we can't possibly hear. Gee, there must be an awful lot in this world that we miss. <laughs> Lad, you said something then. Now you come along with me. We'll just go down the line and find out who the guilty animal is. They're a riot. They all look so innocent. Maybe it's just the way they're made and they can't help it. Well, I never thought of that, but perhaps their faces aren't as expressive as they might be. Oh, oh, here she is. Molly! Look at that chain, will you? Oh, no, you can't fool me. <laughs> you bad animal. Don't you talk back to me. You know you've done wrong. Listen to her argue. Well, I've heard enough. And all these other animals in here were in cahoots with you, too. <laughs> she knows she's been bad. You know, honest to goodness, Jerry, sometimes taking care of elephants is like running a nursery. <laughs> He's here. All right, Rags, it'll only take a minute. Where did Bumps put his tobacco? Said it was right on this chair. <laughs> All right, I know I knocked those pants off. Rags, Rags, stop it. What are you doing? What on earth are you shaking those pants up for? Look out, you'll tear them. Oh, I see. They belong to Lorraine. My goodness, but you do hate that man, don't you? Stop it. You'll get me into trouble, Rags. Put those things down. Ah, oh, Rags, now look at what you've done. Torn a button off or something. I will get in Dutch now and, and with Lorenz. You are a mutt. Yes, you are. You better hide under that bed. Let's see. Where's the button? Rags? Rags? Gee whiz. What do you think this is? Aw, oh, no, Rags. I'm not schooling you. Come here. Look. That's right. Get out from under the bed. Now, look at this. It's the metal piece that was lost from the gun that was at the robbery. And in Lorenz's pants. I, I can hardly believe it. Gee, quick. Wait till I put these pants back so they look right. Come on, Rags. We're going places. Come on, Rags, quick. We've got to find Jason. Yeah, he'll be back with his cast because it's pretty near time for the matinee. Where are you going, boy? Another fire? No, nah, ju just run the race. There he is. Jason. Jason. What's wrong, Jerry? I, I found it. Uh, gee, I... Take it easy. There's lots of time. Jason, I, I got the piece. I, I got it. What piece? Jerry, what on earth are you talking about? <laughs> Don't tell me you're still playing detective. Y yeah, that's it. See, here it is. The piece to the gun. No. Jerry, where did you get this? R Rags found it. In the wagon. What wagon? Our wagon, where we make up. No. Yeah, he, he got hold of some pants that I knocked off on the floor and... Whose pants? <laughs> Lorenz's. You know how Rags hates him. Well, he, he began to shake them up. And, I know. And this dropped out. What a break. 
and I can hardly believe it. Well, we got it anyway. I'll bet I know what happened. What? I'll bet that thing broke off when that gun was dropped on the floor. That's what we thought, but we looked for it in the office wagon and it wasn't there. Yeah, I know, but it probably bounced up into the cuff of Lorenzo's pants. You're kidding. I'm not. If Lorenzo had seen that thing, you don't think he'd have kept it, do you? He'd have thrown it away. It's too damaging. Yeah, I, I never thought of that. Golly, I've got to go on pretty soon. Now, Jerry, listen carefully.